So anyways, what we're doing is we're going to create a fast super sports hyper car. So obviously, the lightest things we could do. Rare engine, mid engine. I want to I want to put like a V12 with uh, quad turbos in this. And I'm going to kind of like a little bit of quality um probably 5 quality. V6, oh man, V12, yeah, how big the, mm. um, okay, a 10.8 liter, yeah, that should be great, dual overhead cams, ooh, I think we're gonna get four, 34, yada yada, turbos, four, uh, and then we need to remember five roughly. I'll try to tune it so that we can rev. Oh, the turbos don't want to die. Oh, but this one. Hmm. <clears throat> there we go. That is more towards what we're making. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Half a second. So without any tuning. Oh wow. This engine is awful in every aspect. So I'll tune it so it doesn't do that. So we have a little bit of power. <laughs> With a little bit, I mean 3,450. Because at this point, everything is just dying. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. Everything is just dying all the time. Uh, I must say, I don't like this curve. But, um... Let's just hope that it works. Uh, so, the signing of car... All-wheel drive, dual clutch, 7-speed. This probably 520, who knows. Um... Ah, viscous, whatever that may be. Radial, semi-slicks. Widest tires you can get. 20. Carbon ceramic brakes all, all around. All around these. We need good brakes. Um... Race diffuser, cooling airflow. I want that to be at 65. Brake airflow can be at like 10. Interior. This this is built for speed, so basic. Sat down. CD. You get you get a CD. If you have something to listen to for long road trips, you're definitely taking in this. Safety. I guess lighter. And front air no sport sure and then race firstly I wonder we get fuel. Where, where the fuck is fuel that is actually decent fuel economy and then we need to lower it uh, I'm gonna do some further tuning and some fixtures and such so here we are one hour later um, I've put fixtures absolutely everywhere. I have even done an interior, as you can see. Um, can we zoom in on the interior, please? Here we go. Fairly basic, but it's more of an interior that they, than they usually have. Um, so, speed. 460 kilometers per hour. 0 to 100 in 2.4 seconds. And it gets better fuel economy than some of my trucks. Um, yeah, let's export it and have fun testing it. Oh no, a red light. Oh, it was a green light. Okay then, green light, I guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, this car doesn't feel very safe to drive. 
It's not supposed to be. S oh god, that is so bad. I feel like the steering gets lighter. Oh, look at this. Everything works and everything. Ah. I've got a sneaking suspicion that I may or may not have made this car slightly too light. Because that can actually happen. Because this car clearly produces force in the wrong directions. What if we, what if we're kind to it? Please work. I thought we would need more space maybe than um, what this map could provide. But clearly not. Oh, that's it, okay. After four times of just running into a wall. Let's try again. The last couple thousand RPMs are the ones you should look after because this does not represent how much it goes up. You've clearly seen that before. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, ha, 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 ha. This staring likes staring of the same sex, if I do say so myself. <laughs> God, that was <clears throat> dumb. I'll take that as LGBTQ plus inclusion. Uh, thank you very much. I'm actually a great person, as you clearly can see. As you can tell. Okay. If you're just careful about it, it won't try to kill ya. What rhymes with it'll kill ya? This car. So I've changed the angle of the front wing. Uh, this part so that hopefully our front end should kind of stick to the ground this time instead of um, lifting off oh not as firm as I would like it beggars can't be juicy oh this is absolutely horrible I need downforce I just need downforce all over me. Oh wow. Let's try again. So, I changed it so that the front and rear wing angle is now at a hundred. I don't know why this car feels so light. There was a warning there, but I won't look at it. I'll barely look at the speedometer because I need to concentrate on aiming this thing straight ahead why do I not have I do have ABS okay let's try that again I want to I want to do like 400 kilometers per hour and then be able to break again I don't know what I was doing there how many kilometers per hour let's let's aim for 420 right yeah. 430. 430 kilometers per hour. Just casually on the highway, you know. This this is my daily commute. I gotta save time. So instead of doing 110, I do 420. Oh, wow. Jeez. 
Okay then. I'm not really much in control here. Oh, I'm not in control. Okay, so the steering wheel has acquired, or the steering has acquired, a very large dead spot in the middle. So this car is actually more drivable now. Oh my god. I'm doing my best driving right here. Oh, son of a puppy. What this car lacks in drivability, it gains uh, back in comedic timing. So this car doesn't drive the greatest. And it's really difficult to control. So what's the only logical thing to do with it? Track day! Hell yeah. Like... You don't buy a Lamborghini to show off, you buy a Lamborghini to drive to the track. Oh. Anyways. Oh, oh! Beautiful. Perfection. Perfection. Oh, come on, come on, get back on the track. Yeah, there we go. When you can actually use the throttle, this thing is amazing. When you can actually use the throttle. Um, okay, let's try that again. The average speed of this is probably going to be way slower than if I took, like, a Colvet, the little blue car. Knock of, uh, knock of, uh, Honda, whatever, Civic. If I took that around here, I would probably have a higher average speed because it doesn't turn like that. Now this has a 70-30 split, so 70% rear power and 30% of the power to the front. So it is all-wheel drive, but it does corner slightly better than if it was a 50-50 split. As you can see, this corner is really great. I promise you, I'm not, I'm not bad at driving. It's the car's fault. I promise. Oh, hey! Understeer into the most oversteer you've ever seen. Um. Oh god. Careful, 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 careful. There we go. Pedal to the fucking metal. bit of brakes so we don't die a little bit more brakes so we don't die careful on the brakes and now this hill will make you fly in the correct in the right car and you just on the throttle oh the brakes are so amazing they fucking the brakes are so amazing they are uh, carbon ceramic 420 millimeters six pistons they will Brake force of 150%. God damn! Can you please? Okay. I've put a race diffuser on this, and oh, maybe the active arrow. I I don't understand. Like, if I make this uh, car heavier, it'll be slower. But now it's. Is it too light? Ugh, don't tell me it's too light. If it's too light, I'll be I'll be mad. Cause I tried changing out some of the materials and then it was just like No, you won't even do four hundred. And I wanted to make a fast car. I guess it's fast in a straight line. Only redeeming quality. So, I changed the car out a whole bunch. Nothing helped. It was it was just bad. It just didn't drive good whatsoever. So, I made a whole new car. This time with a 10.5 liter V10. And 3,400 horsepower, 3,600 meters of torque. It is just as fast. But this actually drives. This is borderline 
not drivable. But it drives good enough. I just need to concentrate a little bit on not dying. Not crashing into the wall. It's slightly more. Guess if I do like that. Oh no. Um. Oh god. Hmm. There we go. Mm. It is slightly fast and somewhat controllable. Okay, let's try that once again, you know? Because when you commute to work, you gotta, you gotta at least do 300. 400 is advisable. It goes a lot faster. Let's do 350. Or let's crash into a guardrail. And not go to work then. Top 10 life's life hacks on how to never work a day again. Number 1. Crash your car. And become dead. Driving through tunnels. Or your new favorite hobby. So is trips to the ER, apparently. God damn it. <sighs> Can't even drive through a fucking tunnel without crashing this car. Now, I have to admit, I have never ever driven a Dodge Viper, the first generation. But I would say that maybe this would qualify, this car here, as one of the cars that would like to kill you the most. Like, Dodge Viper is cool and all, but have you ever tried driving through a tunnel and not just crashed at the end because your car would like to kill you? I'm just wondering. Sweet overstair. Okay. I have several questions. The first one, just why? Why can I not make a car? Like, do I have to make a car that weighs like 400, 4,000 4, kilos in order for it to not be so light that it just, you can feel that this car is too light. And it has too much power in comparison to too weight. But it's it's 2,000 kilos. That's why it does that. Because it's too light. And now it doesn't even drive straight. Great. Great. Absolutely amazing. I'm chuffed to bits. As the Brits would say. There goes my wheel. <laughs> my wheel and my seat. And over here's my car. Fucking hell. I guess this isn't a track car then. <laughs> 